喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵
Um, he's just very sweet. I think corgis can be very sweet. They're very loyal to their human. Um, they can be very particular, which is kind of fun. I like that about a corgi. Partially because I'm very particular too. Anyways, going to details of the ear and the eyes. Look at that eye. I'm kind of lifting and like trying to get some of that black out. I might have overdone it. Happens. Um, nothing you can't fix. I want it to have a glow in the eyes. That's why I lifted it. And then I'm going in with the edge of my flat angled brush and adding in even more details. Um, the flat angled brush, what's really great is if you could make it into a dry brush. What that means is that you want to clean it, dry it. You can double it out a little bit, like tap it on the brush tips against like a dry towel. Um, and then lightly pick up some paint and it creates like a lot of room or a lot of the bristles open up so you can create fur a lot easier. Um, you don't have to do each individual one, the brush nibbles, brush tips, brush, I said it just a moment ago. The brush will do it for you. <laughs> Instead of one little bit at a time, you can do like 10, 15 furs at a time, which is what I like. I like the angled brush, it's very, versatile of all your needs. You can fill in a lot, you can fill in a little, you can open it up and use it as a dry brush. Love it. You can paint the whole thing out of just a flat angled brush. And I usually do, except for all the small details, I do use a brown brush, I use a size zero. Um, it's basically like one hair. <laughs> and I use that for all the minute details. But here, you see, just flat angle all the way. You know, people ask what my favorite brush is and this is my favorite brush. I don't have a particular brand that I love. Um, I do like the Princeton brand. I do like, I just want to make sure that it doesn't like have hair that fall out. That's kind of a quality of a brush. You don't want the hair to fall out in the middle of the painting because then you're spending the whole time fixing it and like removing hair off of your painting. So you want to make sure that the brush quality, you know, like those dollar brushes, hair everywhere, hair, everywhere all right like it's like it's like you know shedding like a corgi <laughs> see what i did there related it back to the corgi anyways going back into this ear getting in more details something that um is really important to do for the ear is remembering those edges that those pop out and you really want to protect those edge spaces because the ear curves and it's not just a flat thing. So you can see along the edge, just a light like outline almost. Um, and that's just to create this more 3D look of the ear. It is rounded, it's not super skinny and flat. Um, that's super important to do too. Re adding in more of that very ochre kind of yellow back into the core. Um, sometimes, you know, adding in blacks and adding in shadows, the brightness of the coat or the color matching part, it kind of disappears a little bit. So it's constantly going back and forth uh, from detail to color matching. And it's, you know, you do detail, see where it's at, color match, see where that's at. So here's my round brush and my little round, my, my, this one's not a zero brush, but um, it has a really nice long tip and it, it holds a lot of paint. Zero brushes don't hold that much paint so you know I'm using this one right now to like just kind of get into details adding the blackest black of the eyes um, adding in the browns blending it all together lifting highlights so fun eyes are so fun to paint I feel like you know they just take a little practice but not as hard as it looks um, it's just a constant back and forth again of like lifting like lightning parts I love adding in that blue for for highlights and then there's the eyelid too it's like what you consider kind of the mascara area of the eye um, the eyelid it's black underneath and there's always like a blue highlight similar to the nose um, it's like a different texture it's not furry it's not skin I don't know what would you call it I don't know what makes it thick and black you know it's just very interesting to me anyways we're going into the nose. We're adding in the blackest blacks. We're adding in details. I feel like he's really starting to pop. I feel like he's, you know, we're, when you add the blackest blacks, it, it's really 
a chance for the painting to pop out and it, it really highlights also the issues that I have like around the corgi that might need fixing like you know you see me adding in more shadows in some area because once you put the blackest black in there it, it can really highlight and and push where the shadows are supposed to be, how many highlights are supposed to be there, where the tone is supposed to be. Like, I think once you add the black, I feel like you are at probably 70, 75% done. Um, and now you kind of can map out what else you need to get done to make it look cohesive and all part of one portrait. Does that make sense? Is that me just rambling? It's all of this, it's just, all of it is ramble. Listen to me ramble, rub, 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 rub. Okay, adding in the colors of the shadows. This is the tricolor part. There's some black hairs in there, getting the muzzle to pop out. I'm saving the bottom part for last because look at that, that shadow, that boom, that pop. Like one of the worst things you can do in watercolor is make things too dark. Cause you can't really, if you make things too dark, you have to fix the whole thing. You have to lift off giant parts and redo all of it. So you really want to save like the lightest shadows for the end. Cause if you make that too dark, it's very, 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 very noticeable. Whereas if things are too light, it's very easy. You just layer on more color. You can't do that when it's too dark. You have to lift like the entire paintings. I've done that before. I've had to lift off like chunks of a painting before, almost the whole thing because I made the shadows way too dark and didn't recognize it until after the blackest blacks were put in. And I was like, wow, this is just all too dark. So fun fact, you want to save all of those shadows. So it's, it's a patience game. I have very zero, pa I have like very little patience. So those kind of mistakes are happening when I'm being very impatient. Um, that's my little little uh, golden nugget there, little little tip and advice. Look at that! Oh my gosh! Speaking about mistakes, look at me accidentally put a spot right in there. I'm gonna lift that more. Um, but I go in with my nifty water-based white pen to add in all the tiny little dots tiny little highlights um, to really make things pop. And then I usually go in with a brush to soften it and make it look more like the paint and it belongs in the painting. But yes, my nifty, I, this is a little trick I have. You could use masking fluids and save off those little highlights. A lot of artists do that too. So it's just the paper that come out. You can even scratch little white highlights with X-Acto knife. I just fear ever ripping into a paper. <laughs> I like my nifty little white pen. It's a little trick that we have as an artist, um, as art pet portrait artists. And um, it is water-based too, so it's it moves around like watercolor. All right, this is like the last like 10%, not even 10, 5% of an artwork is just making sure everything is color matched, making sure everything looks right here i go Ta-da! hey guys thank you so much for watching the video go ahead and hit subscribe leave a comment or you can visit my website or instagram in the description below thank you